Hello guys, in this video we will send custom C sharp object to Azure Service Bus Queue. Uh, for that we will first serialize that object and then we will send it. And after that we will cross check in Azure portal if that object is actually sent to the Azure Service Bus Queue or not. Okay, so let's go to the Visual Studio. So we are in Visual Studio. I have created this console app that is Service Bus Sender. Now we are in program.cs file. Now the first thing is connection string. So that is the connection string to connect our C sharp code to Azure Service Bus Queue. And how we can get it? So we can go to the portal. So we can open that namespace and under that namespace a queue and then we can go to settings and shared access policies. Right. So we can open this policy. And we can find this connection string over here. Okay, so that is the connection string to connect to this Azure Service Bus queue. And then this is the queue name that is the queue to which we will be sending uh, our custom C sharp object data. Now we first created this Azure uh, Service Bus client using that connection string. Then we created this Service Bus sender using that Service Bus client. And then to this we passed or we provided the queue name as well okay and now let's create our custom object and let's try to send it to this azure service bus queue now in the interest of the time i have already created that class so we'll go to this notepad so let's copy this code for the class employee we'll paste it over here okay and let's create an instance of this class employee so it's really a simple and straightforward code okay so we have uh, this class that is employee we have created an instance of this class employee okay and now we will pass this employee instance data to the azure service bus queue okay and for that we will first serialize that data and then we will see send serialize data to the queue okay so i will say we are employee data in JSON is equal to I'll say JSON. What is that? JSON convert dot serialize. So we need to install this new NuGet package that is JSON convert. So let's press Control dot and let's install this package that is install package Newton swap dot JSON and find and install latest version. So yes, it's been installed and let's say JSON convert dot serialize object. Let's pass employee to that. Okay. And now uh, I will say we are uh, it. So now we are creating a service bus message, which we will be sending to this queue. So I'll say we are message is equal to new service bus message. Okay. So under that I'll say encoding dot ut dot utf8 dot uh, get bytes and to this let's pass this employee data in JSON. Uh, let's save our code. And now let's actually send this message. So we'll say mm, service bus sender dot send message async, and that is our message. So we'll say await. Okay. So we remove these unnecessary lines. So let let's add a debugger over here, and let's run our program. So our debugger has been hit. Okay, that means message has been sent to the Azure Service Bus queue. And let's quickly cross check it in portal. So I'll go to the portal. So I'll go to Service Bus Explorer. Okay. See now it shows queue two. That means there are two messages. Let me say pick from start. And 
if i click on this checkbox you see first name harshal last name jain and salary so that means we have successfully sent our custom c shop object data to service bus queue okay so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening